Hi, my name is Michi, owner of Headlines by DeFranco and Posh Collection, and welcome to my haircutting demonstration. So today I will be taking Taylor's hair from a long, natural look, and we're going to cut some off and get her down to a short, straight, relaxed look. So before I do a full haircut on her, I'm going to relax the hair first. But in order to make sure it gets completely straight like the sides and the back, I'm going to cut some of the hair off first. The reason being is that once you put the relaxer on, when the hair is long like this, it may not get as straight as you would like it to get in a root area. So I'm just going to take some of her hair off, which won't interfere with her haircut and add the relaxer. We're gonna add like a black rinse and then we'll get started with the detailed haircut. Okay, I'm gonna leave fullness on the top. I don't think I wanna take her hair too short on the top. Since she's longer, I don't wanna send her into shock by chopping off all her hair. So I'm just gonna start with a medium short haircut. Just parting off the hair that I want to cut off first before I put her relaxer on. A lot of people like to cut with an all-purpose comb, but I much prefer a rat tail comb. They teach us to cut with an all-purpose, but I've just always used a rat tail comb. It just feels more comfortable with my haircuts. So it's your preference what type of comb you want to cut with. So that's all I'm going to take off right now. We're going to add the relaxer and then put a black rinse in our hair and then we'll be right back. I just finished her relaxer and her black rinse. Um, I didn't leave the relaxer in long, so you can see she still has fullness on the top. Slightly still natural. However, I did mold it in the back so it could be nice and straight in the back. And then with her rinse, I just kind of ran it through her hair for about five minutes. I didn't want it to get jet black, but I did want to knock that natural brown look off her hair. So now what we're going to do is go in with our part and create a guide. And she has nice length in the front, so I'm going to try to keep as much bang as possible. I'm not going to take her too short in the front for this particular cut. Anytime you're unsure, always cut longer than shorter. If you cut longer, you can always go back in and take more off, but if you take too much off, there's no way to get that hair back on their head. So I'm just going to part her off from temple to temple. I'm going to start cutting maybe about an inch above her ear. And the hair you're not cutting, make sure you have a hair clip or something just to make sure it's not in your way. So as you can see, we have our guide. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just something you can work with as long as you can see your guide. 
this is the hair I took off earlier before I put a relaxer in, but now I'm gonna go a bit shorter. So I like to start my guide in the middle of the client's head. Some people like to start above the ear. I start in the middle because I think when I start in the middle, it helps me cut a straight guide all the way around. Some people, when they start on the side, it tends to get longer or shorter as you go from one side to the other. But if you start in the middle, it kind of helps you keep that straight guide all the way around. Now be sure when you're cutting your guide, you want to cut it at a 90 degree angle straight out. If you cut it down, that's going to leave the hair underneath too short. So I like to cut at a 90 degree angle. So if I need to go under and cut some hair off or if I want it to stay full underneath, it's full. But if you cut it straight down, now that's just going to chop these layers underneath much shorter than you may want. So we're going to take this straight out and just cut and just try to keep that same distance from the scalp all the way around. Now I'm just going in and pulling more hair down to meet with my guide. You want to take as little as possible so you can see your guide through the hair. More experienced cutters may be able to take more hair out. And just repeat the same thing, 90 degree angle even with your initial guide. I want the hair to begin to get a little bit longer, so I'm pulling it down at a 45 degree angle instead of a 90. So we're doing ear to ear parts now. As you can see, as I'm cutting each layer, I'm pulling the hair back. That's because I want the hair to get longer as you get to the top. If I were to pull the hair straight up at a 90 degree angle, that would make the hair shorter. So as you go to the top, if you want fullness, then you have to pull the hair back. Otherwise, you will cut it too short. last layer in the front I'm just going to pull the hair straight up in a 90 degree angle because her hair is not long enough in the front for me to leave enough fullness if I pull it back so I'm just going to pull it straight up to the top to even it up with the rest of the hair
Okay, now we're gonna go into her tapered area and you could do one of two things. If your client likes their hair super short in the back, like a tapered cut, you can go and cut it with the clippers. But today I'm just gonna cut it with the shears because a lot of clients like the fullness with the wispy sides. So I'm just gonna cut it with the shears. And you could just cut this vertically at a 90 degree angle. That way her tapered area is the same length. And you're still using the same guide that you started with. So everything is lining up evenly. Okay, so we are all set. We're all finished with her haircut. So I'm just gonna go in and mold her down with the mousse, sit her under the dryer for about 20 minutes, and then we'll begin styling her hair. So we finished wrapping her with the mousse or foam as some may call it. So now we're just going to comb her out. I'm going to run the blow dryer through the top of her hair just to straighten it out a bit before I press her hair out and then we're going to style her.
just adding some finishing touches on her haircut. But as you can see, this is looking really good. I'm very pleased with it. I hope you guys are too. This looks fabulous. So here's our end result from the haircut. I hope you guys like it. You can achieve this look, the same look by either going longer or shorter. It just depends on your client's preference or how much hair you're actually working with. So it doesn't have to be the same exact length. You just want to make sure if you want to go shorter that your guide just starts off shorter. Or if you want to go longer, just make sure your guide starts off longer and just follow that same guide and you can achieve the same look. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram at MadAboutMichi. I'll be doing more videos, more instructional videos. So make sure you follow me and keep up with what's new in the industry. Three, two, three, two.